Kia ora and welcome to Western Stories. Today we have with us on the couch for a short court at all, TJ. Kia ora, TJ. I just came down one day when I decided that I was looking for something to do and I walked in and asked if they'd like a volunteer. And um, they introduced me to Aileen and uh, Aileen asked me if I'd like to be the gardener. And so I sort of looked around and I thought, oh, okay, um, I'll do be the gardener. I think it's a pretty cool place really, um, it's a very friendly place and I hope that, um, that I make it friendly too. Well it certainly benefited me because I was grieving and um, feeling rather lost in the world, you know, my family have scattered to the four winds really and I'd had some family troubles as well. Um, but after being here for a while I started to feel more I used to go around and ask me, oh, is it right if I do this? Can I do that? Oh, I'm not going to sit here. He was always very obliging. It was like, yeah. one day he said to me, you can make a decision. So I started to make <laughs> decisions and I sort of just grew confident and then I sort of moulded myself to the role that I could see me doing here. Um, I've made some really nice friends and acquaintances here and uh, I'd recommend anyone come. Um, and make a commitment. I'm aware that people um, have different needs and different amounts of time that they can give. I perhaps give a bit too much at times because I'm, um, yeah, I'm a bit older and I sort of, I've still got lots of energy, so yeah, stuff around here. <laughs> and, and, and they take me to their meetings and they take me to their Christmas luncheon. And I mean, it's all wonderful. It's like a life. You know, and my life is here. I have a life outside as well, but day to day from nine till the afternoon, I'm here and uh, I really do enjoy being here. Yeah. I, I've, I go to the Laughing Yoga group, which is really relaxing and, and um, freeing. We run around doing the stupidest things, it's so much fun. But when I first came, the first year, I think, we had a little boy here who was a troubled little boy. And I remember one day, um, I got him down the back, and we made apple pie. And we made um, the pastry, and we cooked the apples, and we put it on the pie, and he brought it out, and he, it was really a nice moment for this little boy. And I think Neil took a little video of that, or some photos, and posted them up that we'd made apple pie. And I often think of that little lad now, I wonder where he is. Yeah, so that was one little magical moment. Yeah. And I think the one for me when the children were going around and I heard, overheard them out in the garden saying, oh, I've picked some flowers for you and they had a little bunch of flowers and they were showing their mum and having a sniff. I thought that was magical out there in the garden. Yeah. The people here don't put pressure on you to do or be anything other than you are. And they're all very accepting of you as you are in this, this state you come. Thank you TJ for making the time to sit down in Kōrero with us. It's been really special hearing the amazing stories of why you attend the Western Community Centre and what makes it special to you. Kaki bye for now. Mm -hmm.